Alright, what's up guys? So, Unpopular has uploaded a video titled, When Causing Chaos in McDonald's Takes a Turn for the Worse. Yeah, bro, it's like, bro, get your Big Mac and get up out of here, man. It's like, you causing chaos in the McDonald's for. That is some crazy stuff, but... Now nah, let's go ahead and see what this video is going to be about. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Unpopular for more videos like this. And with that being said... I don't care. Put it down. Stop resisting. Get off of me! You're not making it any better. Stop in line. Please just a on August 8, 2023, officers responded to a criminal trespass call at McDonald's. Hmm. So it's like you ain't supposed to be in there in the first place. That's crazy. We're gonna get your ID on you. Hi, we're the police department. You have your ID on you. It is like by him carrying on like this, it's like that's not going to make the cops be like, oh, well, he ain't talking to us. I guess we'll just walk away. My thing is this. It could be a situation where it could be like something like mistaken identity. They think that he's somebody else. Because I know if I'm, if I'm in their shop or, yeah, in there getting me something to eat and then they call the cops, I'm like, whoa, what's, what's going on? I'm like, bro, I just came in here and ordered my food. And they were like, oh, are you Randy Orton? I'm like, no, bro, my name is Tyler. I'm like, I'm not Randy Orton. I'm like, what do you what do you mean? I'm like, I'm bro, I'm just chilling. They they look, they're like, oh, his name is, oh, they're like, yeah, it's like wrong identity then. It's like, all right, cool. Then I'll probably never go back in that place again. I'm like, how dare you confuse me with Randy Orton? But anyways, but um, yeah, I'm saying it's just, it could be like easy, simple stuff where it's like, bro, you could get your food. You ain't going to jail. You could go home chilling, but I guess not. Hi, are you gonna keep ignoring me or are you gonna talk to me? I don't know who you are, man. Okay, well I'm the police department. They don't want you here anymore, so I need your ID so I can give you a trespass warning. Okay. What's your name? He's just, that's crazy. What's your name? I'm gonna give you a little more time to give me your name. Where I put you in handcuffs to take you out to the car and we have a different conversation. Yeah. What is your name? It's Christopher. Christopher what? All right, Christopher, put soda down. Ingram, man. Put the soda down. I just paid put for it, it down. I don't care. Put it down. I have a computer over here, man. You put it me down. Go. No, I already told you to identify yourself, which you would not do. I just did. I said put Christopher Put the Ingram. soda down. Get off me, man. People be thinking like, oh, okay, like, they, it's just, get some units here, you know, I get like, at the end of the day, you're probably looking at that, um, the cop being like, oh, you just a person, like, you ain't got no power here, but it's like, at the same time, that is still a cop. I, you know, yeah, at the end of the day, they are another person, but I'm like, I feel like in a situation where you being you and them being a cop, they got somewhat of a, you know, higher power and stuff, you know. Yes, at the end of the day, they are still a person, you know. So it's like human to human. Yeah, they ain't got no power over you. That's if they ain't got that badge and all that stuff. But it's like, look, the thing is, is this. They go through training and then they take some oath. And then they go through this whole process of becoming a cop. I feel like at that point, it's like, yeah, bro, they doing all of that. Yeah, they could they overall be security guard, be whoever. And it's like, yeah, you don't have to respond to them. But I'm like, if they are a cop, bro, to eliminate you being in a situation just listen to the cop bro what's your problem what's your oh dang and wasted the soda oh, man fighting pd we are fighting i'm not fighting, 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 fighting. that's oh, crazy that's crazy they got the security um video it's like you would die behind your back now you would thought they'd just been strictly the body cam, but... I'm not seeing nobody, man. I'm Put your hand behind your back now! No. All that extra no. stuff. No. Oh, that's Stop. fine. Is this Put your f***ing hands behind your back! Now can you tell me what you're gonna do with my team? Yo, I can leave. That's not a f***ing oh, problem. You're keen up, but you're not coming through. We're fighting, PD! Yeah, you don't have a right to do this. Hey, I cooperate! 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 Hey, I
cooperating, mother. You cooperate it, but that's if you cooperate, you wouldn't even be in this situation. You'd have been outside, walking, no, there's no, there's driving no, home, whatever you're doing. Or anything like that. That doesn't get off of me. He's arrest. still fighting with Stop the cops. resisting. But he, he, he cooperated. I have my things over there. And you need to leave me alone. Fortune director got the mail in cuffs. Keep you, it's coming. Mail's very competitive. Well, what's your f***ing problem? Why you take his f***ing off? Calm down. No, you. Relax. And that's why it's going to take longer. No. This f***ing hurts, you mother well then calm down. So get off of me! And calm down, down and I'll get off of you. Cards, five no, dollars. Dollars. I was cooperating. No, you were not. I said my name. I asked you five times for your my name. name. He's on my f***ing card, mother. You wouldn't give it to me! That's why we're here! I f***ing said Christopher Ingram. Did I not see Christopher f***ing you I said f***ing Christopher Ingram. Dang, it looked like they messed up his uh, head and stuff. Oh, well, why aren't you answering that question, mother? That's my money too. Cool, we'll get it, don't worry. It's my computer, it's my computer. Yeah, we'll put it, we'll put it in safekeeping. Relax. In safekeeping? Yep. No, I think what you're doing is stealing. Wait, what are they stealing? Five dollars with a rewards yep. card? Like, f you. Relax! You're not gonna f***ing do this, you hear me? Relax! Yeah. You understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand English? That's somebody where it's all like, you know, you look at situations like that, and I'm like, look, people, I, it's things like this where it's all like, nah, he needs professional help because I feel that he, he's being extremely careless with his life. He's probably looking at it all like, look, I ain't got nothing to live for. Let these cops shoot me. Let them do all this other extra stuff. And I'm like, bruh. That's the wrong way about going about life. Like, I get it. You might be in a struggling situation. That still don't give you a reason. Because my thing is this. I'm like, I look at it as like, okay, I got my whole life ahead of me. All right? Whole life ahead of me. There's things that I want to do. I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to see my kids go through school and all this other stuff. Get into an argument uh, with my wife about which video game series is better. Uh, Grant that father or Saint Tro. Most likely, I'm gonna say, yeah, Grant that father. They got some good games, but Saint Tro too is gonna be the better game. You talking about all these other Saint Tro? No, Saint Tro too. I'm trying to have that type of life, all right? I'm not trying to be in this. It's silly, but at the same time, I'd rather deal with something like that than to deal with something like this. So, people, you guys sit down and think about it. Yeah, you might be in a struggling situation today. It ain't gonna be like that. Yeah, it might be like that tomorrow, the rest of the week, rest of the month, rest of the year, but it ain't gonna be for life, right? So it's like, people, if you apply yourself to whatever it is that you wanna do, what could possibly go wrong, all right? Apply yourself to something, something that you care for. If you're in the art, bro, go to a store, get you like a blank canvas, make the best possible art ever, post it on Instagram, get it probably what two three likes and keep doing that until you're at some art gallery selling art for five million dollars you know but just apply yourself to something this though yeah that no the wrong something to apply yourself to yeah i got a seat i'm not sure i put on my truck this is my car bro i got him right can i pay for this you stupid piece of shit they don't want you it doesn't matter they have that right they have a right to trespass anybody. Yeah, they didn't trespass me. We are trespassing you. <laughs> this doesn't look like and you're going to jail. due process. It is. Yeah. All right, calm down, YouTube lawyer. Oh, yeah, because I said due process and this. That makes me. Just certified. calm down. I don't know why you're so mad. Just calm down. Because <laughs> I have a computer in there. Hey. I said. It's like, well, who's going to take it? it but you just down. said that. You're not making it any better. Stop. In line, pieces of shit. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, Dom, huh? Yes, sir. Here I am. Can you done lock it? I'm trying. I think my key fob got broken. Yeah, it Dang. did. Hey, you know what, mother? Yeah, you should yeah. die. Thank you. Key fob's broken.
I said something smart. I'm like, now nah, I would have got you a refill, but I mean, you you told me to die, sir. I'm like, now nah, I'm not gonna get you your refill. I might not even get your laptop. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get on your laptop and post on your Facebook. And I'm gonna say, hey, I'm crazy, and I'm gonna just let everybody. Well, they probably people people that you know, they most likely already know that. So I'm like, yeah, I guarantee, and I promise you, he if he acts like this with cops. Friends, family, that's probably why he's in this situation. He's probably in a situation where people don't want to talk with him. People don't want to chill with him because, bro, you get out in places that you don't know how to act. So it's like, fam, you, the thing is, is this. I get that you're in a struggling situation with life. You could just tell based off of how he was acting in this video, he is in a struggling situation. This ain't going to make it any better. If you're trying to get better, bro, go in the opposite of this route, all right? And he probably, my thing is this. Highly doubt he'll ever see this video, but I guess talking to somebody where if you are in a similar situation, it's like, bruh, this ain't the way of going about it. It's like if you're in a situation where you need to, because I don't, don't want to make that assumption that he's homeless, but at the same time, yeah, if you're in a situation where um you're homeless, bro, go into an establishment and just be all like, hey, can I work here? I'm not here to beg. I'm not here to any of that. I just wanted, like, can I work here? Can I just do something? If you guys need me to sweep outside, sweep in here, whatever it is, keep doing that until somebody w is willing to take a chance on you. Have it where they make sure of it, though, that they don't regret that chance that they're taking on you and then make something good out of it. Like invest in yourself, invest in something that you want to do. But going down this route, it ain't going to help, bro. It's not going to help. You hear me talking to you, stupid pig? I hear you. I just don't know what you want me to tell you, bro. Where's my charger at? It's in your backpack, bro. You hear me, Fergie? I didn't hear a word you said. Come on, step out. Step out, boss. Come on. Talk to me. Go inside there. Make sure that door shuts when he goes. We have to switch your cuffs to the back, bro. That's why we cuffed you on the back to begin with. Yeah, because you're scared. That's why. It's policy, actually. It's like is you're scared it? of what? Yeah. Like, okay. is three of us. Yeah. For it. Like, although, because I can't really make out that sure. um, if the other person was like a paramedic or whoever, because I did see that paramedic truck. But I'm like, bro, you trust me. You ain't going to win this fight. Like, Trying to we'll put somebody well, you already got arrested, mess. so it's like, fam, just make it you easier on yourself. It's a monster, you get that? Okay. Way back fat. Thank you. Are you confused? Oh, there's multiple there's people. Yeah, it's like, out. bro. Or at four, so it's like four cops. So it's like, you got eight people in here. Four, if they want to help, they help. can. Yep. He so definitely ain't doing that with the dude with the tattoos. The paramedic, yeah. Sure. That dude on the right, he ain't doing that with him. You heard it all? No. You got a little bit of a cut on your forehead, but how are you feeling other than that? We can be chill, dude. We just, we just got some questions to ask you, man. Change Change your life. Life. Make sure you're one of those my name. Because people don't seem to hear very well. It's like, yeah, when it's you know convenient, you just come home, beggar, faggies. Don't worry about it. Homeboy here got it. Don't you It's in the system. Yeah, it is? Yeah. So where the wasn't when you were trying to touch me. Well, when I asked you four times for it and uh -huh, you and walked I told away. You time? Talk to the firefighters, please. Suck my. Okay, you can refuse. That's fine. You're a grown ass adult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how I like how dude in the hat here. He's just looking we back and forth sure. like. Okay. okay. Right. That's the conversation right now. We don't we don't have to check your vital signs. I don't have to do an assessment on you if you don't want, man. Like, do you want? Do you want me to check you out or not? I'm not exactly in a position to resist, am I? You, dude, I'm a medical provider and I'm here to make sure you're okay. okay? Not that I was just to rest. I'm here to make sure that you're physically okay. Yeah, I was abused. I was just, just assaulted. Gotcha. Okay. So can we check you for injuries? Not in a position to resist, am I? What does that mean? You can yes say or no. You can say no if you want. Yeah, what, what, what's the problem? All right. Where's your machinery? What's it doing? Just gonna take some vital signs. She needed to be chill for us, and I do need your name. I know. What's your name? Erin Ford. Yeah, I'm just on your feet. Ten sexual harassment. Yeah, but I'm just got a little bit of a cut on your forehead. Is that it? Just a little cut. I want to check for infections because the lady over here was trying to put me in a bunch of. 
floor. You can deal with all that fight. later. Like, we're here to help you and make sure that you're physically alright. So, like, yeah, I'm not. You, I was you, harassed. You, you, I was assaulted. I understand that you feel some type of way about whatever happened, but we're here to help you right now. Yeah. I don't see what you can do besides so throw up some alcohol on it. Right, so, so is that your only complaint here? You got a little cut here, is anything else hurt? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah? Feeling, are you feeling that way right now? Yeah. Are you making those statements to others? Not yet. No? No, it's on my laptop, though. Yeah, no, I see. Now, it's over here. I have a problem with that. Well, what's your name? My name's Lucas. I'm with Town of Bernardino Fire. Okay, well, it's Lucas Hunt. Yes, sir. What's your name? It's Christopher. Right? Christopher. Don't you have any of my cards? What about my money? Christopher. Where's my money at? It's in your property, don't is worry. It? It what is. about my cards? It's in your property. It's my name on them. It's in your property. I mean, if I was that cop, I'd be getting smart. I'd be like, left it all at them McDonald's. Danny? It's went out from you. They it most seem likely like going to throw it in the trash can, and it's going to be rat food. So I'm like, all that stuff gone. What's going on, quick guy? Where the f is your f brilliance at, you stupid piece of shit? I just f asked you questions. Oh, but I'm the one that's supposed to answer questions. Christopher. They trying to help him out. Christopher, do you have any medical issues? No, 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 I can give him what he wants and it doesn't Hey, Chris, do you have any medical issues? Yeah. Diabetes? Yeah, no, I've got several of them. Some of them I don't even yep. feel comfortable talking about in front of these guys. Like what, like a, a dysfunction of some sorts? Like, you know, For some reason, not like there was one night where you, you know, you thought some stuff was about to go down and then how can I put it in terms like where I guess kids won't understand and things pretty much like, you know, the soldiers said like, not today. Like we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll fight this war <laughs> another day. I'm just saying though, I, I just feel like he's just being overly disrespectful and just being crazy for no reason. It's like, fam, like just. Chill out. They're just running around begging, stealing. What's up? So do you feel like you need to go to the hospital? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel the need to be evaluated? No. Okay. At least get checked out? Yeah. And I have a, I have a headache. Probably from something. I'm dirty again. That's what you guys need though, huh? So would you guys be comfortable bringing them to the hospital? Otherwise, we'd have to have one of your regular guys. They'd have to stay. I don't know. I can't okay. see like my leg, dude. Okay. So I can't okay. tell you guys what's going on. Does your leg hurt? He wants yeah. to go to the hospital, I think. Okay. Well, 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 okay. You're going to have to wait like probably an hour for a straight answer. I'm not going to We'll transfer him. That's fine. Right, yeah. We have to have to calm down a little bit before you can get to the hospital. Yeah, so I'll transfer him to my unit. There's no no life threats right now. Well, I understand that. I don't know. These guys need to be pressed charges again. Good communication takes work. I think we can all work on that, right? Guys, I'm going to take your blood pressure one more time, dog. Just relax, all right, bro? Yeah, so how about that? What are you going to do so about that? So is it that? just your knee that hurts? My head, my arms. Okay. Um, Which arm hurts? What are you going to do about my freaking drink? Can I take a look at your knee here? Yes, please. Nothing, huh? That's all you wanted to do, though. I'm gonna put you just need pressure. something I'm gonna to get put dirty. Some huh? pressure on you, like, hey, pay attention to me. You guys still living behind that police station? I mean, if you, if you want to go that far, the lawyer could definitely... I think if I was the paramedic, I'd definitely tell you. I'm like, hey, can you guys just, like... I well, I, well that, that, yeah. There's enough. There's four paramedics, and I'm like, yeah, they they ain't gonna do anything with him. So I guess like if they did try to do something, it's like, yeah, I just felt like, yeah, bro, you ain't in the position to do no stuff. So I just tell the cops, I'm like, hey, just go stand outside or something, like outside the door, not like outside, outside, but just stand outside the door. One of us will be all like, hey, like you know, we'll call you in and things if some stuff goes down. So. Um, oh, no, 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 I definitely want like a lawyer. This is a lawsuit. Right. The court will provide all that. Yeah. Oh, the court will? Yeah, you'll get a court date too. Yeah. Like, it's gross. I don't know what the f the problem is. You're gross? Are you funny? Job security, huh? It's gotta, it's gotta get them hurts in, huh? Mm -mm. No. No. No, no, that's bad. That's bad news. I'm an animal, animal officer, so. Oh, you're adults? Animal. You're an animal? No, I deal with animals. You do? Mm hmm You're, you're an animal police officer? Uh, yeah. You deal with mm. 30, 30 people. 30 animals, excuse me, 30 animals. No, just animals that die on the road. That die on the road? Yeah. That's my job. It's not fun. It is fun? No, it's, it's not. It's funny too. It's not fun. Yeah. Is that, is that like the whole beating thing that you, that you're talking about or is it like the, you just... 
and just make sure that that doesn't happen. Yeah, make sure it doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah people hit on their oh. limb. Gotta take them off the road. Hey, so she got dash crazy. <laughs> that was that was funny too. That was what? Don't worry about it. Okay. You want to lean forward for me? Go ahead and sit up and lean forward. Come on this side. Go ahead and sit up and lean forward. Come on this. Sit up and lean forward. Closer over here. Okay. Lean forward. So much easier if you listen. Yeah. Is that what would have made this all easier? If you were just giving him his name, you would have simple trespass and down your way. Yeah, simple trespass. Because I gave him money. No, you didn't. I didn't? Nope. So you didn't hear Christopher? No. Nope. I mean, they should you all Sure. Christopher Ingram was arrested for battery of a police officer, concealing identity, and resisting arrest. Dang. Yeah, bro, it's like you be doing some crazy stuff like that. And it's like the cops, they gon they gonna have a reaction to it. So I'm saying like people to avoid crazy reactions from cops, don't give them a crazy reaction to react to. Bro, I'm saying like it's just it's crazy, man. I'd see people that be carrying on like that, but anyways, um nah, make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to uh unpopular from work videos like this, like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.